day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sir Reginald. Welcome back to Savar Delta Rune. Let's continue where the hell we left off. Forgot how to run. Oh god, this guy. Welcome to my shop, you ungrateful worms. Get, get up. Right. I'm sorry, I forgot how things work. I am Sudoku Puzzles, rules card. My hobbies include calligraphy, law keeping, bug keeping, cages, and long walks in the dungeon. I just thought one of my admirers worm? No, I hate you. <laughs> Why so to us? So I might, uh, let's see. I need monies. <laughs> Army of funds. What? I'll be honest, I can't read half the crap you say, I'm sorry. Our Lord King art a cruel and terrifying monarch. However, he is also brilliant for he decides to appoint me as Duke of Puzzles. Because he's an idiot. After pretty much everyone else is fired from place inside of a cage. Truly really benevolent ruler. His son, on the other hand, is more troublesome than a fistful of fleas. He always <laughs> make, asks me the worst queries, and called me his lesser dad. Our relation is none, little water beetle. <laughs> oh, f f fucking hell. <laughs> Sweet song of death. He's dead. No, I'm done with you. I'm, d I'm done with you. I don't, d bite me. How am I gonna put this shit on? Hang on, you're not wearing anything. Wait a minute. I wanna buy more shit! <laughs> Alright, that was fun. I just gave everyone else their own damn defense and whatnot. Where the hell am I? E. Well done, I feel accomplished. Bicycle is lovingly tucked into bed. I think I found Lance's room. Ride the elevator? I do not. I forgot what buttons are for. I forgot what to do. Uh. Enough worms. Ah, oh, Christ. Behind oh, here! Thou may have cheated through their mind puzzles, but... In combat, thou shalt be scattered about. Ooh, I finally get to fight you? Come, knaves, prepare for battle with... Oh god, no. Whatever this is. Huh? It's the enemy from earlier. But his crown looks different. It looks same. <laughs> yes, yeah, so if I control a crown, I may just control any disc shaped life form. Oh no! It looks like it's in pain. It looks the same. <laughs> yes, yeah, control a crown is painful. But I'm certain this creature will feel some relief. But it sees how much more pain that'll be in. Fuck you! Ooh, Susie has an idea. Susie, you wanna act? Oh, then what's your idea? Um, well, how do I say this? I kind of need you for this one. That's fine, Susie. I'll help. You wanna apologize to it for earlier, right? Nah, I just need you to stay still. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Chris, we gotta get that crown off its head. <laughs> help me throw Ralsei at it. Ooh. Eek, eek. Eek, eek. Neat. Crown greatly loosened. No, 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 <laughs> not this again. <laughs> we gotta throw people. Yeah. Like I just kind of threw you at his groin. Oh, I brilliant, just brilliant. 
I knew you could do it. <laughs> oh, great heroes! That you fucking moron. I'll see if that was merely a friendly test of thine abilities. But thou has won, and thou nothing blocks thy path. Excuse me, you're breaking my language. I personally could not be less of an obstruction. But you luck be with you, heroes. Thanks. We didn't really do much. Okay, gotta say. Yeah. What the hell happened in this room? Fucking hell, someone went on a tamper tantrum. Temper tantrum. Someone, someone's not happy. Hey, Lancer. Hey, there's Lancer. Oh. Father. Lancer, my son. Have you dispatched the light nurse as I commanded? Eh, no, but I did even better. It turns out we don't actually have to fight them. They said they could just talk to you and they're alive? Yes, and I think you'll like them a lot. There's Susie, she's very purple and strong and where are they now? Uh, hi. Hey. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Lancer. Lancer, my son. Yes, father? Do you remember what I told you? Don't get too attached. You have failed. They have poisoned you with their sentimentality. I can't even say that word right. Free yourself, Lancer. They are not for you. Their only goal is to destroy our glorious fountain. They are scum. No, they aren't. Whoa! What did you say? <laughs> let him go. Put him down, you bitch. You want me to let him go? Then how about this? I'll drop him off the edge and let him splatter. What the hell's wrong with you? Unless you all kneel and learn your place. What will it be, Lightners? Jeez, this guy's serious. Don't listen to him, Susie. He'll... He'll... Now watch, Lancer. Oh shit. See what happens when you befriend Lightners. Oh sweet. What the? You traitor! her! Come back here. Alright, enough already. Who the hell do you think you are? Hey, yeah. To my people, I am a hero. You clearly are fucking not. Do you? Oh, that's disturbing. I'm the bad guy. Ooh, neat. Let's talk to him. Gather up some TP. Susie try to reason with the king. Alright, listen up. Lance is my friend. So if we can get by without hurting you, then... If I perish, so be it. Show my son the monster you really are. Alright, you wanna see what I can do, huh? Susie's will is changing. Top became Red Buster. what he has to say. Or also try to reason with the king. You might not realize it, but this is a world where you don't have to fight. I know if we try, we can all find another way. Such simple-minded platitudes. A shame you will not live to realize your naivety. <laughs> now perish with the pathetic lightners you worship. Sorry, my friends and I aren't going anywhere. Or else this will is changing. Top became dual heal. Ah, crap. Oh my god, he's got control of the damn box. Oh fuck. You put us down, bitch. Let me talk to you. You guys just keep defending. You try to reason with the king. Silence, Lightner. Your very existence goes against our own. By the knight's will, I will shall shatter your heart to pieces. Your will is changing. Top became courage. What's courage to do? Jeez! Oh no! <laughs> it's like a hook shot! <laughs> Get it away from me! What's courage do? Defense boost. Here. You encourage the party. The party's defense raised for this turn. Whoa! Okay. Hey, I'm at max! 
Soul shine its power on Rossi. Rossi cast dual heal. Neat. Something about the night. Ow, fuck! I do not like that you can do that. <laughs> not one bit. That pulls the fountains from the earth. Oh my gosh. Jesus. Gotta keep defending. Holy fountains whose shadows are creating a new world. Our world. You're nuts! Oh god. Purge. now a new purpose. No! I see myself trying to survive this damn DVD uh, screen crap. Oh boy, I'm in pain. Soon this world shall be blank in darkness. And darkness shall rule it. And I shall not give a damn, for I am dying. How about you? <laughs> I need help. I don't know what I'm doing. Then you may see what it's like to live in despair. I'll be honest, King, I don't like that you can do that. Fuck, we're gonna die. Now enough talk. Fall before the chain of justice. Oh my god, we're gonna die. Oh boy. Yay, my TP's at max! <laughs> Too bad it's not gonna be worth a damn here in a minute! <laughs> oh, Jesus. You're quite strong, aren't you? I prefer the term lucky as hell! Ow, fuck. If I keep fighting you like this, then... Then what? You'll throw more of your, uh, DVD player, oh, screen poop at me? I can't think of the words right now, I'm too focused. It seems that... What? Go ahead, finish your sentence. Knight, I should not fail you. Where the hell is this knight you keep talking about? Oh, hello. Enough is enough. I see. I see that I cannot defeat you. I have grown exhausted from our long battle. You're the one who's doing all the attacking with your- Oh, well, there goes your cape. Lightners, I- Perhaps I- I have been too, too cruel. Truth is- I was not always this way. There once was a time where darkners and lightners lived in harmony. A time where darkners could fulfill their purpose in peace. It would be a lie to say that I too do not yearn for those days. <clears throat> perhaps, perhaps you young ones are right. Please, let us put away our weapons. There must be a peaceful solution to all this. Come now, Susie. I'm glad you're starting to realize, Mr. King. None of us really want to fight. If you could just tell us about your worries. I'm sure we can all be friends, Mr. King. Yes, friends. That sounds lovely. My apologies. I am... I am not used to fighting like that. My body is getting weak. Oh, don't say another word. Oh. Hey, you should be all healed up. How do you feel? Let's see. Whoa! You bitch! Never better. I hate you. You. Did I say you could get up? 
Fuck you. Chris! Oh god, I'm in pain. Oh, spare me the heroics. You. You're the leader, aren't you? So, what's your plan? To laugh as you cast us all back to obscurity? Can't even say. Young one. Let me tell you a secret. Five people pissed me off. Oh shit, you pissed her off. I'm not happy. Hey, get away from my friend. <laughs> or what? You'll kill me? Ah. So what's your plan then? Talk me to death? You stupid, stupid lightning. You honestly think you have any way to convince me not to kill you? Nah. But they might. Who? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, answer? Everyone? What is the meaning of this? Sorry, Dad. You're being overthrown. When I told everyone you were fighting the Lightners, everyone remembered how kind they were. They decided they'd rather have a king that accepts them. Me! Now I'm the dad. You idiots. The Lightners are your enemies. Fools, I'll kill you. I'll kill all of you. Nice. I think someone needs a timeout. Go to your room, dad. No. Oh, jeep. What the frick just happened? Alright, Chris. No! Chris, Susie. Oh, you're alright. Yeah, it'll take more than that to take us down. Chris, Susie. I'm sorry. Because I healed the king, we almost... Susie, you're right. I... I was foolish to think we could act so soft to everyone. This isn't a world where kindness always wins, is it? <laughs> eh, it's complicated. Yeah, sometimes there's people you gotta fight. But if you never let your guard down, then... You might just hurt someone you care about. Aw, Susie. You're getting to sound like a real hero. Eh, I'll get used to it. Then I... I suppose you and Chris should return home now. Yeah, I... I guess that's right, huh? Well, uh... See ya. Like that? Huh? Chris, you wanna... Go say goodbye to everyone, don't you? I do, yeah. Yeah, well, if you're gonna make me. I guess we can go back for a bit. Let's go. Hello! Chris? Susie? Came back? Um, well, Chris just wanted to say bye, you know? Oh, actually, everyone here wanted to say goodbye too. Please let me know when you leave, alright? Yeah, yeah, we'll try not to skip you. Oh, hello. Where'd you go, kids? Now we can go back to making the puzzles we love. And thanks to your donation, I can buy a new hat and some shaving cream. Best, you're the best. Honestly, oh you. <laughs> you're absolutely amazing. I'm not gonna say your words. <laughs> Great work. Even Lil Ball can say something like thank you. Thank you. I can go back to being a coat hanger now. By the by, I asked Sham to come here, but there wasn't any interest. Kid me? I love that guy. Darn, horsey. You've done us a big help. Now all those pieces can live in paces. Yeah. You did it. You asked that rotten tyrant. I'll happily accept the bounty of credit for my contributions. Unless the king reappears, in which case, I did nothing. What do you gotta say? Wonderful work, mine amigos. Thou hast topless the tyrant. Free to, free to start Cretus. <laughs> Shut up! I, uh, I'm done with you. Fuck you. I knew you could do it. Though I was your enemy, I was cheering for you. That's how much I dislike my job. The future looks sweet. Like a pile of bees puke. Is honey, I think. Kingdom with so much hope. Hope you didn't screw it up. That means thank you. Come to our next B-Day, too. 
We'll have one soon, if that's possible. Matthew looked at you proudly. Yee. Yeah. What's going on? I slept through everything. Sounds like a you problem. Um, hello. What ho, what about us? Aren't we going to be restored as kings? Ah, my treasure is unharmed. Carry on, then. Us animals decided it's okay if the kings stay in the cages as well. But they'll have to put on animal ears and noses. Mamma mia, <laughs> what a celebration. This calls for a cake. <laughs> this time I'll make it out of metal so animals can't eat it. Oh, and look at the little black guy. Because you rescued it, it grew to respect you. Well, actually, it'd be a shark to respect you. I'll be honest, at first we weren't sure who to make our new king. I mean, Lancer has, has always been a bit of a pain. But after seeing how nice he treats you guys, I think he'll be fine. Susie, blue person, whose name I neglected to learn all along. <laughs> I thought you were going home at home ways. <laughs> we were, but Chris wanted to say bye, you know? Oh, really? Eh, it's funny. I thought you wanted to say bye because we're friends. Huh? I mean, I didn't not want to. Um, so you're the king now, huh? Yes, and I'm changing some big rules. First, lightners are now legal. Second, prison is now only for dads. Sounds like some pretty good changes. Hey, your dad was, uh, protecting the fountain, right? Is it gonna be okay if we mess with it? I have no idea. But it's you guys, so I trust you. If something bad happens, we'll fix it out. Yeah, I guess we'll see, I guess. Uh, well, see you later. Come back soon. There's always room in town for a couple of clowns. Damn it, boy. Alright, let's go see Ralsei. I have no clue what's happening with those guys up there. Chris, Susie, are you leaving? Hell if I know, I'm just following Chris. Guess we'll just watch the right if we are. Susie, Chris, are you going to leave? Um, I... I just wanted to say, I... I... I really enjoyed meeting you two, and... Hey, can you stop mumbling into your hat for a second? Barely hear you, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. What the? Uh, Chris, Susie, I... I hope I can see you again soon. Next time I'll make you lots of yummy cakes, alright? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure, dude. You look... Let's go, Chris. What the hell's up with you? Ew, I'm running! I'm running! Whoa, hello. <laughs> Is this the fountain? Don't know how, but it feels like we stumbled into. Something really important, didn't we? Well... There's no time to think about that now. Right now. It's time to go home. Right, Chris? As you stood in front of the fountain, you felt something strange. It was as if... Your very soul was glowing. Oh, yep, it is. I evaporated. <laughs> what happened? I can't see anything. Well, shit, Sherlock, me too. Hey, watch it. Are we being molested? Hello there. Huh? And use classroom? How'd we get here? Hey, Chris. What? What just happened? 
Like, that wasn't a dream or anything, was it? Oh, crap, look at the floor. Anyway, as I was saying, let's just tell Ephesus we couldn't find any chalk. Oh? It's a checkerboard. There are pawns strewn on it. Playing cards spill out of a deck in the closet. Huh. And the sun's already setting. Everyone else must have gone home by now. Guess Alphys will know better than to ask us next time, huh? I guess. Well, guess we should go. See you later, I guess. Yeah. Chris? Let's go back there tomorrow, all right? Sure. Oh, hello. Oh, hi. Chris, whatever have you been doing? I sat in the car waiting for you up to school for half an hour. Uh, you won't believe it. <laughs> really? I called and called, but you never picked up. You had your poor mother worry sick. Chris, I'm afraid I'm going to have to punish you. Well, shit. Huh? A friend? I talked? <laughs> you were spending time with a friend? In the dark closet? Alone? With no one around? Oh, I'm shocked. God damn. Chris, I will make an exception this time. You can continue your adventures a little longer, but when you return home, you're going to have to go to bed early. Alright. See you soon, honey. You, you, you click. Frackin' hell, what now? <laughs> you know, they told me not to walk in the street, but I said no. Uh, hello there. Chris, you survived Susie. I was getting worried. Now you can finally pay off your family debt. How to draw dragons is, uh, 2,583 days overdue. However, Chris, I am benevolent. Volunteer assistant. What is happening to your face? If you turn it in this week, I'll reduce your fine to a mere $64.23. Consider it, Chris. I will consider throwing you out the window. Chris, what's up? Cat is working, so I'm starting on our project. I've already copied a bunch of pictures. This is the same picture of a soccer ball 73 times. Oh, Timmy. Gotta go to Kuleg. <laughs> so damn stubby. Hard. She's ready to call me full of hot demon guys. Yeah, you continue your d hard work there. You look through the window to the computer lab. There seems to be a dog inside working at a computer. Seems like it's making a game. Seems like you shouldn't interrupt it. Seems like when the game's finished, you can go in. You just have to trust the dog. I do. I love reading books, especially the books upstairs. You should really read them if I could fucking go up there. Ooh, excuse the hell out of me! Oh, hello. Hey, punk, get out of the road. You're blocking the traffic! Oh, wait. It's just that escorts, kid. Sorry, I'm a little, uh, worked up lately. This job is so boring, nothing ever happens in this town. Yeah, I just wish something would shake things up. Oh, you got something to report? How about Alphys? Alphys? Who's Alphys? No idea what you're talking about. Oh, dear Christ. Why, did they do something illegal? Gotcha. If I see Alphys, I'll tackle them. They're so- They're as good as dead. She might like that. You know what? What is happening here? Police Chief Undone is supposed to be directing traffic. But all she's doing is standing in the middle of the street, yelling, Get out of my way! She's the best, huh? I can feel really directed. <laughs> you look like you're just drunk. How am I supposed to get past this blue lady? I'm stuck! I guess I should just run away. Aw, oh, you wanna help me? Sure, punk. I guess I'm gonna rob the bank so I can suplex them. Wait, do we even have a bank? Hey, guess I wanna build a bank. Good lord, I just know you haven't changed a bit. What? There's a dark world inside the school? Uh, sure, kid. There's no law against dark worlds anyway. That's a job for the school board. Well, school board ain't gonna do poop. 
where am I? Hey, short stuff, why would you possibly need to talk to the mayor? Your allowance is too low, ate too much candies, lost your frisbee in the wash, threw his bird out the window. Hey, short stuff. <laughs> That's what the cups are for. Thanks. The mayor's charisma is about zero. No, it's negative. But she works hard and has a good track record, so she runs unopposed. Uh, it's politics, really. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, the mayor is busy right now. You need to see her. Please try causing some terrible crisis. Uh, I could think of something. <laughs> oh, hello. Chris, what a pleasant surprise to see you here. And on a school day? There must be a reason that you came here at such a time. I, Father Alvin, implore you, if you have anything weighing on your mind, please speak. Fruit juice. <laughs> Chris, if you want some of our sick fruit juice, you <laughs> should come to our service. Our choir sounds a bit thinner since your brother went away. Chris, it would be wonderful if you would sing with us. If I would say a damn thing. Or even participated to any extent. Instead of just trying to drink the fruit juice. Ooh, well, excuse the hell out of me. What the hell? G G yeah. Well, I'm terrified. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear any of that. Oh, hang on. Is this anything? Is that just... Yeah, that's great. Pyro. A karaoke microphone for a brave singer. Butler. Big bone for the leader of the pack. Crystal, a snowy gemstone for a proud mother. Harrison, renowned historian, author, and teacher. Don't know any of you people. Throughout my career, some of my best ideas came from dreams. Take a rest here if anyone asks. Writing. Alright then. Am I the only human in town? Hospital! Oh my, hello. Oh, it's you. Are you here to play the piano again? Patients can't hear it well from here, but I personally enjoy it. It's an obligatory, obligatory hospital piano shrunk to fit the corner. As a result, it's missing most of the good keys. Play it? Sure! Blink. I love it! How do I... Hello there. This castle of white wizards... Excuse me? Uh, okay. Oh. Dad, I can't just say that to her. Oh my god, I'd die. I'd, I'd literally die. Well, sweetheart, first time I laid eyes on your mother, I walked right up and told her she was a hot piece of work. And then I got slapped across the face. Really? Yeah, she slapped me so hard, blacked out. Uh, that doesn't help at all. Anyhow, how's Dragon Blazers 3? Beat it yet? Ah, uh, I'm still at the Ice Palace. I'd be kind of... Kind of waiting to finish it with you, Dad. Noel. Maybe... Maybe you shouldn't wait. Dad? You should bring it here. I'm bored as hell. Fine, you win. I'll bring it next time. Oh, it's getting late. Guess I better go. I've got homework. Oh, that's the group project voice. Bird guy again? What's his name? Nerdly? It's, um, Birdly. He's not that bad, Dad. I'll kick his ass. <laughs> Dad, you're not even supposed to get up. Bring him by the window. I'll throw something at him. Goodbye, Dad. Bye, honey. Oh, hi, Chris. Why am I facing the wall? 
Well, Jig and my gosh darn bells look like Christmas K K Krampus came early. All right, Chris, just give me the straight shot. Why are you here? Your mom make you come here? Hey, get no. Really? You've grown up a lot, Chris. I'm proud of you. Wasn't well, too long ago you were just a creepy kid next door. Now you're the creepy kid right in front of my. All right. Okay. Seriously. You want to chat or something? Illness. So why am I in here? Well, they found some crap, so it's just some tests. Yeah, it's no big deal. Nothing holiday can't handle. I'll be out of here in a jiff, and I can go back to, I don't know, yelling at you for getting tangled up in our light display. <laughs> Noelle. She's a sweetheart, isn't she, Chris? Smart, kind, sweet, couldn't ask for a better daughter. I just wish she wasn't so defenseless. Scary movies, bugs, Santa Claus, everything scares her. And when it happens, she freezes like a deer in headlights. I remember she used to even be afraid of humans under the bed. Chris, it was not nice of you to hide under there, by the way. What? Anyhow, that's... Uh, that's the that's what's tough about being in here, Chris. Not what's going on with me. Just that, in the meantime, I can't be there to protect her. Keep an eye out for her, okay? I... I... okay. Family! Chris, even if we've grown apart, we still love your family. After all, me and Asgore were college pals, right? Oh, hey, now that Azrael's off to college. Think he's doing any crazy parties like me and your dad? Eh, yeah, I'm just pulling your leg. Your dad was no party animal. Your mother, on the other hand, whew! She'd always fuss about going, but the uh, once the party started... Yeah, thanks, man. Once she hit me clear across the room with a key lime pie. Got smashed into a snack table and toppled everything. Tasty pie, though. Couldn't complain. What the hell? It's a bunch of roses in a glass container. Hey, I'm happy your dad brought me flowers, but... Roses? What is this, man? Beauty and the Beast? That ain't gonna work, man. We're both beasts. Ah, you don't know if you don't try. Ethan? Ooh, police. You knocked on the door to the police station. Someone's coming up the window. <laughs> they just closed the blinds. <laughs> ah! Eh, hey, yeah, eh, hey, okay. Ooh, sense. Hey, look who's walking around. How are you, kid? Great to see you again. Yeah, it's real nice, isn't it? Especially considering I never met you before. Oh, crap! My name's Sen. Sen's a skeleton. I'm new in town. What's up? Eh, friends. We just moved here, so I hardly know anyone. Why, I got anyone... <sighs> Why, got anyone that should know better? Yes. Your mother, huh? Too late. I already befriended your mom last night. Congratulations. <laughs> she's great. Came to the store to buy chocolate kisses. So she's got a locker door to stop you from eating. You sound like a fun kid, huh? Yeah. Hey, bud. Are you busy tomorrow? I need some help with something. It'd be great if you can come over. I live just next door, you know? Yeah, sorry, but no. Well, that's disappointing. Alright, alright. Let me sweeten the deal for you. If you come over, I will personally... Not even be there. It'll just be you and my little brother. Since he's new here, he needs friends. Anyway, thanks for agreeing to hang out with him. See ya. Okay. No. <laughs> Does it hurt to be made of blood? Yes. <laughs> Gotten better at knocking. Yo, Chris, you survived Susie? I mean, I never saw her beat up anyone up, but uh, I'd be careful. She tried to eat my face. Like, one time, me, Snowy, and Jockington were playing handball, and she just kept creepily watching us from the corner. Then when the ball rolled over to her, she just uh, froze solid. And kicked the ball as hard as she could. Right in the officer Undyne's car. Then Undyne came out, smiling, cracked her knuckles, and totally wiped us at handball. Anyway, Susie sucks, Chris. That's nice. You're lucky, Chris. 
You got to miss class without this. It's not fair. If I skip class, my dad never let me hear the end of it. That's actually not even remotely funny. Why the hell are you laughing? Hey! Oh, Chris. Chris, you're okay. I, uh, I was really worried when you didn't come back. Where'd you go? Did you skip class? Well, don't worry about it. I'm the cool teacher, you know? You're not in trouble. Well, let me know if you need anything. Hang on. Oh, Chris. Did you want to talk about something? Chalk. Chris, even though if you never got the chalk, you deserve an award for trying so hard to find it. So, in return, I can let you borrow uh, my, my homemade DVD collection of the symptoms. You know, the sitcom about the middle class monster family. It's got every episode, all 28 si Jesus Christ. It's the funniest, most quotable show ever. But make sure you don't watch past the set date. Uh, excuse me? Alright, uh huh. Alright, I. D oh, yes, I see. Will do! D shut the hell up. Uh. Huh? Hey! Oh, oh, she stopped! You don't want to watch it? That's okay, Chris. Wait, there was more to talk about! <laughs> Get back here! Flowers! Oh, these flowers? They're from your dad. Yeah, he always asks how you're doing in school. Then gives me the bouquet of them. Actually, that he always gives me flowers. Really makes me wonder if he... If he likes, if, if he, 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 give me that butt! <laughs> the awesome comics I lent to him. Honestly, he kind of reminds me of a superhero, Chris. He's huge and could kick my ass. Ed, sure. Oh, this also her milk? It's for my kitty. She did that, no. What does she look like? Satan? <laughs> Uh, I don't want to imagine where that went. Good melt. I have fun with that. I'm gonna go away. Pretend that that place doesn't exist. What fresh hell is this? I used to be a I used to be a boss. Oh god. Would you be interested in trying some of our many 24 pizza flavors? We have got normal! Cheese! Ice! Gravy! Double ice! Heperonis! And more! Stop on down at Icy's Pizza! I will not! Oh god, someone's actually here. Uh... I... Y yes. Pizza. Hey! Hey, wait a second. I recognize you. Oh god, it's this guy. Little buddy, it's me. Wanna chat for a minute before I lose my mind? No! Yes. You know when Azzy's coming home. You can't tell him this, but I really miss the guy. It'd be sweet to cruise around the town like old times. Picking up, for example. Chicks. Which, as a matter of course, may not have ever actually happened. Oh, oh my god. But well, one time, Undyne made eye contact with me while she was writing me as bean ticket. I'm done talking to you for now. You creep me out. I, I, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you either. You creep me out. Wait, Flower King? Oh, hello. I reckon. Where's that tri dildo? Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. This feels familiar. Howdy, how can I... Oh, Chris! Oh, that's adorable. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot if you don't like hugs like that. Well now, make yourself at home, Chris. You can help yourself to anything you like. Say, Chris, I was thinking. Perhaps when Azriel comes home, we could all go to the diner, just like old times. My treat. Doesn't that sound... incredible? No. Oh. Oh no. Oh, flashbacks. It's the golden flower, protecting the container. It needs to stay in there. 
It's a rusty fridge with some photos on it. Oh, Chris, if you're hungry, help yourself to anything you want. I'm open fridge! All that's inside is a jar with a single pickle in it. You decided to pass. I want to see what the photo's about. A photo of your mother and father on their wedding day. He's holding a bouquet of seven flowers. A reindeer-looking monster stands nearby in a tuxedo. They all look happy. It's a small TV. On top of some superhero, superhero comics. I can't talk today. <laughs> There's some dirty fur stuck in the drain. Lovely! It's a door! It's locked! Amazing! Damn it, boy! Yes, these flowers are still kicking. Quite hard to take care of them in this climate. I'll see ya. What? Oh, Chris, before you go. Here, for your mother, our secret. You got the bouquet of flowers. I'm going to throw them out the window. Have a great day, Chris. I will not. Christ, I'm almost at 50 minutes. I gotta... Hey, Noel. Oh, hi, Chris. Did you need help with your homework again? I know you were having trouble last time, so uh, I actually got a few things ready for you, in case. Oh, wait, sorry. I can't write now. I forgot my house key again, and uh, this is your house? Sorry, Chris. I'll help you later, if that's okay. See you at school, Chris. Um, Chris? Did you want to talk about something? Susie! Susie? That's right, you were with Susie. When you didn't come back to class, I was worried, but everything turned out okay, I think. Uh, Chris, can I ask something, if that's okay? Susie, I'm kind of curious what she's like, you know? I mean, who doesn't wonder about her? She never talks to anyone. So, Chris, could you tell me about her, if that's okay? She's nice. <laughs> what? <laughs> she's a nice person? Really? Like, really? Honestly? Truly? But are you high? I said yes. I mean, that's just what I was hoping, but... Wait, this is another trick, is it, Chris? Like when you put ketchup on your arms and told me it was blood? Why did I do that? Really? You're serious? You're completely serious? You're not crazy at all? Gosh, then maybe I should try talking to her. But if I die, you're paying for my funeral, Chris. Though, honestly, if she's nice, I might die, too. We're all gonna die. Hey, I'm home. Welcome home, honey. Did you have fun with your friend today? God, no, I didn't. By the way, I just finished baking a pie. If you go to bed, it'll be cool when you wake. What did I eat it all this time? All right. What is wrong with me? Oh, hey, here you go. Chris, what is it, honey? D d flowers! Oh, Chris, flowers for your mother? How sweet. These are from him, are they not? Uh, well, worry not, Chris. I will find some place for him. In a fireplace. I'll talk to you about Azrael. Remember that video game you and Azrael used to play? What was it called? Super Smashing Fighters? Oh, jeez. Let me smash. I had no idea what you're talking about. When he was very little, he loved the green lizard from that. We even had a birthday party for him themed around it. Your father painted all the eggs with spots as decoration. Oh, your brother loved it. Until the next day your father cooked them all for breakfast. Your brother just kept crying. Ever since he's hated that book about eating green eggs. Oh, damn it, the references. I... Chris, since only you and I are living here right now, it feels just a bit lonely, doesn't it? Oh. But fortunately, sharing a warm, freshly made pie is the perfect cure for such a condition. As long as I get to eat some, of course. I'm sorry! <laughs> Me! Chris, honey, you have grown up so much. Am I adopted is what I want to know! <laughs> Someday soon, you'll be going off to university as well. Yet, yeah, maybe. Remember when you were little? You asked when your horns were going to grow in. Tell me about that headband with the little red horns on it. Oh, you wore it for months. Whatever happened to it? <laughs> I do not know. Hello. It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. It's still cooling. Fantastic! Which one's my room? It's probably Tori's. Yeah. 
If you go to bed, this chapter of your adventures will end. Will you go to bed? Damn it, I'm tired, yes! He decided to go to bed. I decided to narrate my life on the inside of my head. Ooh, hello. She's not gonna sneak in here with another piece of pie, is she? What the hell am I doing under there? Oh god, night terrors. Am I possessed? What am I doing? Whoa! What? I think I just ripped out my soul! Whoa. What the hell's going on? Well, shit. I don't like the looks of this. Oh. <laughs> I think I just lost a little bit of my sanity. When the light is running Chapter one. And the oh, man. I don't know what's going to happen next. What the fuck? Did I get some kind of bad ending? <laughs> Be continued in chapter two. That was lovely! I ripped up my freaking being and threw it in a birdcage. And I pulled a knife out of midair. Lovely! Oh, it's over. Well, that's it for uh, this episode, Deltarun, everyone. I, I, it, the game actually closed on me. <laughs> it just closed itself. <laughs> oh, man. Leave a like and subscribe if you want more stuff like this. I'm more than happy to play it. And I'm a little bit uh, traumatized right now just from what I saw. And as always, stay salty, everyone. I can do anything.